This manuscript uh, addresses the outcomes of a survey of several hundred parents, predominantly mothers, across Australia about their, their thoughts, their, their feelings and their attitudes towards the issue of sibling relationships. And really the context of this survey is that the, the group of researchers that we belong to here at the University of Queensland are interested in the development of evidence-based parenting programs. And in developing programs, one of the first steps that we do, of course, we consult the literature and understand the theory or whatever the particular problem is we're seeking to address, which in this case was sibling rivalry and sibling conflict. And then we undertake a consumer engaged approach to developing the intervention. And so really what this survey is about and what is reported in the paper are the findings relating to how much of an issue sibling conflict actually is. Within the sibling relationship, what are the, the, the specific behaviours that parents struggle with? Are they physical behaviours like fighting and kicking and biting? Or are they emotional behaviours, jealousy for example, rivalry? Once we've determined that, we then ask questions to do with, okay, so uh, what sort of strategies would you like uh, to use in dealing with the issue of sibling rivalry? And if you were to undertake parenting support, would you see that as a good idea? And if so, how would you like to access it? Would you like to come along in a large group setting? Would you like to do it online? Would you like to do it in a brief discussion group format? And so we distributed that survey, we have the findings, and the manuscript shows that Basically, parents were most concerned with physical aggression uh, and fighting and physical uh, behaviours rather than the emotional. What was interesting about it is that the majority of parents said that their children, in fact, got along quite well, but then when asked, are your children in conflict, again the majority said yes, pointing this idea that, of course, sibling conflict is seen as normal, which is one of the issues that intervention developers have to be mindful of. The paper concludes with a summary of what the, the mix for an intervention for a positive parenting program might look like and some of the things for, for policy makers and, and researchers and intervention developers to consider such as how to make programs as widely as accessible as possible because the ultimate goal here of course is to increase the uptake of uh, evidence-based programs in the community. We really hope you enjoy the paper and we're looking forward to in due course reporting on the findings of the trial of the new parenting program which has been created subsequent to this survey. Thank you.